It is time for Ask the Lawyer with Bruce L. Shiner. This is a long-standing tradition at Kicks Country 92.9. I'm Todd Matthews, and I invite you to listen in to find out more about the law and also submit questions for future consideration. If you're curious about the law in any way, I'll tell you how to go about that momentarily. But first, would you please help me welcome Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. Good morning, Bruce. Hey, good morning, Todd. How are you doing this beautiful morning? Just terrific. How about you? I'm doing excellent, thank you. Good, good. Not everybody is as fortunate as the two of us. Here's somebody with some big trouble and some injuries and hope to be able to help out. You ready for the question? I am ready. Okay, here's what the email says today. My brother was driving on U.S. Highway 41 at 15 miles per hour over the speed limit when a car pulled out from a side street that had a stop sign, causing him to T-bone the vehicle. The driver who pulled out was ticketed for violating my brother's right of way. My brother was taken by ambulance to the hospital with multiple serious injuries. When my brother contacted the other driver's insurance company, they denied the claim, saying he was over 50% liable for the accident because he was speeding. Thus, he is not entitled to any recovery. Is that correct? He's up. He's being upfront about it. He says he was going over the speed limit. Can they actually do that? Well, it's very complicated, Todd. Unfortunately, the uh, Florida legislature, in its infinite wisdom, a little more than a year ago, passed a new law. Mm-hmm. And the new law says that if you are more than 50% liable or responsible for an accident, you cannot make a recovery. Okay. Now, now it's the jury that makes that decision. So there's no open and shut, hey, he's 50% liable, he can't recover. Right. You would have to go to a, a jury trial. And with those serious injuries, I don't think a jury would find that he was more than 50% liable. So, for instance, let's say a case was worth $500,000. Mm-hmm. The, jur- the jury said that, um, our person, the plaintiff, was 25% liable. Mm-hmm. So you take 25% off of 500000 <coughs> and the uh, victim would be able to recover $375,000. Okay. So, you know, it's a typical insurance company response, you know, we'll never pay, (laughs) but personally, if someone like that called my firm, we would be happy to handle the case. It would be a case where you would have to file suit and possibly actually go to trial. Right. The insurance company in this case is substituting their opinion for a jury's opinion, which is what really counts. Exactly. Oh, okay. I, I've been on both sides of that argument. Right, gotcha. Oh, this this is such good news because that's exactly what this person needs is some experience, and uh, getting in touch with a legal professional quickly is the best thing to do. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you very much. It's good talking to you, Todd. I look forward to next week. Me too. You tell everybody hi for us. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. We always appreciate his great answers to these really thorny legal issues of which we have another one today and maybe another one next week that you submit if you'd like to submit a question for future consideration just go to our website and put the keyword bruce in the search box that'll take you where you need to go or even better if you're injured like this person or you've got some kind of immediate problem call the port charlotte office of associates and bruce l shiner at 941-743-7777 941 743 7777. And tell them the Todd Matthews sent you from Kicks Country 92.9.